There's so much Nursing to remember. School is so hard. How do people what make it through this? What did that professor say? I want to be a nurse. Myocardial I want to be a nurse. Myocardial filtration rate. Bart Pediatrics. Bart geriatrics. Bart geriatrics. Output, but what's going to be heart rate? Test. Ty Ty Fowlers, Fowlers, yeah. Low Fowlers. Some say that nursing school is the hardest thing that they've ever done. I'm Dr. Hobbick, and I am a passionate nurse and a passionate nurse educator, and I'm here to help. Join me on Nursing with Dr. Hobbick as I review topics and highlights from nursing school and try to help nursing students become confident nurses and provide the safest, best quality patient care that's possible. Hey, and welcome to Nursing with Dr. Hobbick. So today we're going to talk about chronic uh, health conditions and rehabilitative nursing. So one of the first things to remember is that chronic and disabling health conditions are the most common costly and preventable conditions that uh, occur in the United States. So we're talking about things like stroke, uh, coronary artery disease, hypertension, arthritis, COPD. And we also have um, disabling conditions that can cause, be caused by injuries like a spinal cord injury. So we have rehabilitation settings that these patients can go to and they can get care there. Remember that it is a large team, an interdisciplinary team that takes care of these folks. So the stuff that you'll want to know about when you're doing your assessment with these patients is the history of their current condition, um, how it's affecting them right now, what sort of treatment modalities they're under right now, in other words, uh, what medications they're taking, any cultural, spiritual practices that they're undergoing, and of course, their support system, uh, because they may need some additional help. They may not. It could be that they're living on their own, um, but we want to know what's available to the patient and what kind of needs that they have. The next thing is we really want to think about, you know, doing the best that we can for our patients. So we want to find ways to improve their mobility, their functional ability, their, their independence, their ability to be at home and comfortable and, and in a, as normal a life as possible. So we are going to think about inter involving our physical therapists, occupational therapists, again, the whole team that's going to help us out with this. Anyway, send me questions if you have any, and uh, that's just the basic highlights for chronic disease and rehabilitation nursing. Hey, this is Dr. Hobbick. First, I want to say thank you for listening. This podcast is intended for nursing students to help them understand concepts that they're learning in nursing school, and maybe for students who just graduated and want to refresh on concepts, or nurses who just want to listen. Anyway, I do want to thank you for listening, but I also want to say that by listening to this podcast, you agree not to use this podcast as medical advice to treat any medical condition in either yourself or others, including but not limited to patients that you are treating. I want to encourage you to consult with your own physician for any issues you may be having. They will be your best source of information that is accurate and consistent and uh, based on research and evidence. Again, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time on Nursing with Dr. Hobbick.